Well, I guess the best way to figure out how to get this body off is to just start taking it off. So, I'm going to take the hood off the top, the, this up top first. <laughs> Don't hit my car. <laughs> oh boy, it's dirty up here. Take that off, clean that up. Now it looks funny. That's a convertible. <laughs> it's topless now. <laughs> Funky now, don't it? Yeah, it looks funny. Huh? It looks funny. Yeah, it does. So now I just gotta find this is what one of the things about the projects like this that you you run into. You gotta figure out how to how the what holds the body up. I mean it's not hard, but it is when you don't want to crawl on the ground. But you gotta dig that get out of deep there. A lot of it, you can kind of lift up up, see where it's moving. There's a bracket here. There's a bracket there. All right, let's see. I'm looking underneath here. Oh, there's those two bolts there. Those are all out up there. No more bolts there. And then there's two bolts up there. Huh. And there was two screws with nuts underneath. I had to pull them out because the screws spun. I got these out, plus uh, there's two screws in the front. I took them out, and what held the seat time, pretty much that's it for the body. So the body. <laughs> here. Yep, I had to do that wiring right there before I can, uh, cable will come with it, but the wiring's all got to be unplugged. So I'll take a picture of that, a real good picture, so I know how to put the wires back on it, because since we're running the start generator, I would even know where that's at. <coughs> These are the wires at the beginning of the video we used when we took it apart. And, uh, this can get a good cleaning before we put it back together. But I'm done for tonight. I'll do that wires in the next video. We'll hook the wires. We'll lift this body off, which I don't know how we're going to video it. 
Unless I get a tripod out here because it's going to take two people to lift this thing. And uh, it's not heavy, it's just awkward. I don't want to unplug those because I need to get a good picture of those wires. You always want to either mark the wires or it's best just take pictures of the wires and stuff. So when you go put it back together, you know where to put the wires. And uh, then we'll put the... A little bit easier for me to put the engine on and off, get everything done with this off like this. That's the reason why and the body wasn't difficult to take off. It was more harder figuring out how to take it off than it was to take it off. So, but what, I, it's a good thing too because it's filthy. Right. So, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and take these clips we got and the ones we missed. And uh, we're going to. I'm going to go ahead and clip this all together and make this for the next video. There's enough here. This could be a long video. I like to keep videos, you know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, no more 15. And I try to have a little bit more where we're actually working. Sometimes it's hard to do the work in the video because of the camera and getting someone here. And it's just so, and so I did the work, the video afterwards. And it's not as interesting when I explain what I'm doing instead of doing it. It's just better to have it in there so see if we make the videos better your comments will help saying if you guys like it or not what you'd like to see until then thanks for uh, visiting hangar 207 in the garage golf cart edition